Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. Let's solve this question. This is gate 1992 digital logic question. The operation which is commuted you but not associated. Okay, so four options are given to us, and the question is asking which operation is commutative but not associative. See what is definition of commutative operation? Okay, so what is commutative operation? What is the meaning of commutative operation? Commutative operation means commutative operation means that if you have any operation, let's assume you have any operation, it can be any operation, hash, okay. This can be anything, this can be exclusive or this can be addition, multiplication, okay. This can be any operation. So you can notice commutative operation. So we say we say that this is commutative. What it means? It means that a hash b is equal to b hash a. Okay. So this property is called commutative property. I can say if this property is satisfied, then I can say that uh, hash is commutative operation. So I can say hash is commutative operation. Okay. So this is the property commutative property. A hash b is equal to b hash a. This property is called commutative property. So if your operation, whatever operation you have. If this operation satisfies this property means whenever uh, a hash b is always equal to b hash a then this type of operation is called a commutative operation some examples you can notice that addition operation is commutative okay addition operation because you know that x plus y is equal to y plus x so addition operation you can notice that 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 okay so addition operation is commutative and you can notice subtraction operation is not commutative this is subtraction operation this is not a commutative because you can notice 2 minus 3 is not equal to 3 minus 2 okay so you can notice that uh, this is the definition of commutative operation and next he is asking ne next the question is asking associative property associative property okay so what is the definition of associative operation so if you have any operation okay whatever operation you have hash any operation hash you have then we say that this is associative what it means it means that whenever you have two hash operations side by side okay whenever you have this situation if you have this situation then let's assume then in this situation in this situation let's assume if you do the first hash operation first or if you do the second operation first you do first operation first or you do second operation first if the result is same if the result means if this uh, if this is if this result is same as this result if both are same then i will say then i will say that this operation is this operation is associative this operation is associative okay so again you can take example that addition operation is associative you can very simply you can notice addition operation is definitely associative because if you have x plus y plus z whether you do the first addition first or you do the second addition first it does not matter okay whether you do this first addition first or the second addition first the result will be same so addition operation is associative and of course you can notice that the subtraction operation is not associative i can say that the subtraction operation so this subtraction operation is not this operation is not associative because for example you can take 2 minus 3 minus 4 okay now if you do if you do if you do the first if you do the first subtraction first or if you do the second subtraction first then you can notice the result are different okay so what is the result here the result here is minus 5 and the result here you can notice the result here is 3 so you can notice the result are different so i can say subtraction operation is not associative okay so this is the definition of commutative operation and this is the definition of associative operation now the question is asking these four operations are given to us these are the standard boolean operations these operations we study in the boolean algebra okay so which of these operations is commutative but not associative so we know that these operations are commutative so in boolean algebra i can say if you have if you are study uh, if you study boolean algebra then in boolean algebra we can we have many operations we have but in boolean algebra these operations are commutative in boolean algebra these operations are commutative for example this operation and operation and is commutative okay operation or is commutative operation nand is commutative operation nor is commutative operation xor is commutative and operation xnor is commutative actually these are the standard boolean algebra uh, operations 
in the boolean algebra you will find these operation these are the standard i can say these all these are the standard boolean algebra operations okay and these are the st standard logic gates also for example for this operation we have a logic gate for this operation this is the operation of boolean algebra and corresponding to this operation we have a logic gate also this is the logic gate okay uh, which correspond to this operation so if you have input a comma b then the output will be ab okay so for each of these operations we also have logic gate also we have for this operation also we have logic gate for this operation also we have logic gate this is the logic gate for this operation and you can notice that in boolean algebra so all these operations are commutative all these operations are commutative what it means this and is commutative so it means a b equal to b a okay similarly or is commutative means a or b equal to b or a similarly this nand is commutative so a nand b this is the symbol we use for nand okay this means a nand b okay what this means this means a nand b okay so this a nand b is equal to b nand a and similarly this xo xor is also com uh, commutative so a xor b is equal to b xor a this xnor is also commutative so a xnor b is equal to b xnor a so you can notice all these operations are commutative and you can prove all these are commutative using the truth table you can prove okay very easily you can prove uh, using the using the truth table you can prove it but all these operations are commutative now let us see what are the associative operations in boolean algebra so in boolean algebra in boolean algebra what are the associative operations okay so let's see associative operations now you can notice that this and this is associative or is associative exclusive or is associative and exclusive nor is also associative all these operations are associative and or exclusive or and exclusive or these operations are associative and these operations are not associative for example this nand this is not associative and this nor is also not associative these two operations are not associative and these these operations all these operations are associative what it means see for example xor is associative what it means it means a xor b xor c so this result this will be equal to this okay both these results are same so this means both both these results will always be same so this is this means that xor is associative similarly xnor is also associative because uh, for xnor also you can do that uh, if you do the first xnor first or if you do the second xnor first the result will be same so xor xnor and or all these are associative but nand comma nor are not associative let's see why let me tell you that nand is not associative let's prove that nand is not associative okay so this nand operation i can say this nand operation is not associative so let's prove it let's prove it okay so how can we prove it basically we want to prove that what we want to prove we want to prove that a nand b nand c okay this can be different this can be different from a nand b nand c okay they can be different this is what we wanted to this is this is what we want to prove that this they can be different okay so now you can prove it very easily and either you can prove using truth table okay so either if you want to prove it so proof one either you can prove using truth table okay but this will take a lot of time in the truth table total eight rows you will you will have okay total eight rows will be there and it will take a lot of time this is this is basically time taking okay so this is time taking method so you don't have to apply this okay don't apply this truth table method but this is one proof okay you can using truth table you can prove it okay let's see the uh, the analytical proof okay let's see the proof too okay so you can notice this is what we uh, this is our lhs so i can say that this is our lhs a nand b nand c okay this is our this is our lhs let's call it lhs and let's call it rhs okay let's call it rhs this expression we are calling it rhs and we are calling it lhs okay so two expressions we have this expression this expression let's see whether these expressions are same or not now what is this proof proof is very simple notice that okay a comma b comma c they are variables they are boolean variables okay so they can be either zero or one a can be zero or one so only two cases are possible right only two cases are possible that either a can be zero or or a can be one only two cases are possible either a will be zero or a will be one only two cases possible okay 
So because this is a Boolean variable, this is a Boolean variable. So this can be either zero or this can be one. Okay. So I can say that only two cases are possible. Either a will be zero or a will be one. Now when a is zero, then what is this LHS? What is this when a is zero? Okay. So you can notice that zero and b. Okay. So this is your zero and b. Let's see what is zero and b. You know what is and? Okay. For example, a and b. What is that? That is a b whole bar. Okay. So I can say zero and b. That is zero b whole bar. Zero b means zero. Zero bar means one. So I can say that this becomes one because a is zero. So zero and b that becomes one. And one and c. What is one and c? What is that? That is equal to one c bar. One c is c. So that is c bar. So I can say finally it will be c bar. Okay. So LHS will be c bar. Okay. And what will be RHS? What will be RHS? When a is zero, then in that case, whatever you have doesn't matter. When a is zero, then you can notice that when a is zero, then whatever you have here, whatever you have here, the result will be one. Okay. So you can notice a is zero. Okay. So zero and anything. Remember zero and anything. I can say that zero and anything. What is that? That is equal to zero x bar. Okay. So it zero x means zero. Zero bar means one. So zero and anything is one. So RHS will be one. You can notice they are not equal, and right? They are not equal. This is one. This is C bar. So they are not equal. So this is your proof. So I can say I can say that they can be different. Okay. You don't even have to do this. This case two you don't even have to check. Okay. You can directly say that this and is not associative because when a is zero, when a is zero, then this LHS is C bar and this RHS is one, and they can be different. I can say they can be different. Okay, so you can notice. For example, I can say uh, from this I can say from this I can say that when a is zero and let's assume c is one. Okay, let's assume c is one. Okay, in this case you can notice in this case when a is zero, c is one. In this case LHS will be zero. Okay, and but RHS will be in this case RHS will be one. So they are different. They are different, right? They are different. They are not equal. Okay, they are not equal. In this case, b can be anything. B can be zero or b can be one. B can be anything. But I can say that in this case, when a zero, c is one. In this case, LHS, this expression will be zero and this expression will be one. So I can say that this and this is not associative. Okay. So this is a actually this is a good idea. This is this proof is very uh, this this proof idea is better than truth table. This truth table will take. Time okay, it is time taking. It will take total eight rows. You have you have to create, and then you have to create truth table of this. Also, you have to create truth table of this. Okay, so don't do that. What you can do, you can do this. Okay, because only two cases are possible. Because a comma b comma c, these are Boolean variables, so they can be either zero or one. So you can create two cases, either a is zero or a is one. Only two cases are possible. Either this is possible or this is possible. Now we can notice that when a is zero, when this variable is zero, when a is zero. Then LHS, this expression, I can say this expression is C bar, and this expression is uh, one, and you can notice that they are different. Okay, they can be different, right? Uh, so this this expression can be different from this expression. So I can say NAND is not associative. Okay, so this is the proof that NAND is not associative. Similarly, you can do for NOR. NOR is also not associative. So NAND comma NOR they are not associative, and I can say that uh, all other operations. These are associative. Okay, so the operation which is commutative but not associative. So you can notice this operation is commutative but not associative. Okay, so all are I can say all are commutative. I can say all are commutative. All are commutative. All these operations are commutative. But you can notice this NAND is not associative. I can say NAND is not associative. NAND is not associative. These three, these three are associative. I can say these three are associative. These three operations, these are associative also. Okay, okay. 